Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Orphan Last, aka Skyler Madison, and today I'm coming at you with another presentation video series where I teach you guys how to animate a presentation with OpenTunes. Now here you see me on Google, I typed in OpenTunes Nightly Build, I click on the top link, and there's a recent nightly build by Shun Irasawa, which actually has some cool qualities. I click on the link that says EXE, and it starts downloading. While it's downloading, I go ahead and go into the control panel, since I use Windows, and I went ahead and uninstalled uh, OpenTunes at this point. Now, rest assured, I immediately install OpenTunes, specifically the nightly build that you just saw me download. Now, the reason why I got this nightly build is because it fixes that bug that I've been complaining about, where it winds up deleting a lot of your drawings, and you have to redraw them after you close and open up OpenTunes again. This is a good build. Now, all of the project files are safe and everything. So I go ahead and I install the new version and open it up, create a new scene inside of my tutorials project, and went ahead and just started throwing in the variously different files. It took me a little while to find them. I kind of forgot where I put them since it's been a while since I visited this series. But once I did find them, I threw the storyboard, which I've already created in the previous videos, and I also tried to actually put the Audacity file in there. You actually actually saw it just there. And so I'm like, duh, I just need to export it as an mp3. Now if you want to export as an mp3 with Audacity, it's kind of like open tunes. You have to activate the FFmpeg integration with it. So I keep finding that there's parts of the presentation that needs different graphics. So I throw in my logo in there and I want this presentation to actually be pretty good. So I want to have an animated logo as a temporary filler for an intro for my videos and so I also start talking about open tunes and so I have already thrown in the mp3 file into open tunes it's just a click and drag I'm not joking it's as simple as that and plays uh, just without a hitch it sounds beautiful there's no glitchiness to the audio quality at all with an mp3 file inside of open tunes not only that let me go ahead and mention this this what I'm doing right here wound up being something like well, it's something like 22,227 frames. This entire little animatic that I'm creating inside of this video. All that I'm really doing inside of this video is I'm listening to the voiceover and using the animate tool and whenever I start to mention something that deals with a different panel on the storyboard, I create a keyframe before the frame that I need to switch to the next panel and then I go ahead and use the animate tool and move to the next panel and that's all I'm doing and I just repeat that over and over and over again and you have to really listen very very carefully because there's specific things that you say in the voiceover that's kind of like hint hint next panel next thing on the screen and it's sometimes pretty difficult to get the hint. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video in this series, there was an issue where I decided, well, there are some customizations that I need to make to the script. And so the audio has already been adjusted for that. But right here on the screen right now, you can actually see me drawing out a storyboard. Like I said, a storyboard doesn't necessarily have to be as pretty as what I was doing in the previous video in this series. Here I draw just a basic idea of the OpenTunes interface to kind of give everybody an idea as to what's going on. Now I'm really amazed, 20,000 plus frames and OpenTunes didn't lag once. Now, I'm sure that if this wasn't just like a bunch of still images and such like that, maybe OpenTunes wouldn't be able to handle it. But I didn't have a single lag issue with 20,000 plus frames. I didn't have any problems rendering it as mp4. It did give me this weird error message. However, I watched the video that it created during the rendering process and everything. I watched it. There was nothing wrong with it. The audio quality was perfect. I didn't have to put it into any editing software or anything in order to add audio or nothing. Just completely perfect workflow. Even though it's all pretty self explanatory what it is that I'm doing. Uh, all that I'm doing is I'm just listening for the timing. 
that's it. I'm, I'm setting up my timing for the entire extent for the presentation. And that may sound boring, but it is a process that you have to take seriously. Because if you get your timing wrong, everything else is going to be wrong about the entire thing. Now, I am, on Sunday, I am going to release actually two videos. And one of them is going to be a collaboration with an amazing artist that I've just, I'm just mind blown that this guy wants to have a collaboration with me. And it'd be nice to actually have a collaboration that actually works out. Uh, I guess I'm learning, I'm learning how to do it. The next video, however, on Sunday, is going to be focused on what I made in this video, which is just a little animatic, basically, a, a animated storyboard. And it's not going to be pretty or anything like that. Now, I have been talking for months, ever since June, January that I'm going to be working towards creating a crowdsourcing campaign to introduce collapsible windows, which is going to completely change the look of OpenTunes, the graphic user interface and all that. And that's what I've been working on. I've been work this is it throughout this video series. This is me working on the presentation for that crowdsourcing campaign. That's what this is all building up to. I'm really looking forward to just showing you guys the storyboard, basically. To be able to actually show you guys the basic concepts of what the collapsible windows are, what it's going to provide for OpenTunes, how it's going to make the user interface for OpenTunes easier for you to manage. Now, I have told variously different people that if they wanted to know more about collapsible windows, watch this presentation video series in slow motion. You'll be able to read the script, and you'll be able to see the storyboard. And I don't think many people actually wanted to do that. So I'm actually excited that on Sunday, I'm actually going to be able to show it. Now, I'm open to suggestions and stuff like that, but the thing is, is that if the crowdsourcing winds up actually getting overfunded. I do have ideas how we can actually expand other functionality to the collapsible windows, such as, like, actually having a miniaturized timeline that's connected to a minimized X sheet or timeline that's reduced to the size of an icon. So basically you have the X sheet that's reduced to an icon and you click on a little button on that icon and you have this little miniaturized uh, timeline. I don't know, but that's only if we get overfunded when I wind up actually getting this into the crowdsourcing process. Anyways, guys, that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for Sunday because you're going to see what this video made. Thank you very much for watching.